where a lady was like, um, her man accepts her four children, who she gave birth. She four. Had, yeah. You say four. Four. One, two, three, four. For four different men. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paula Dara of Pulses Beauty, and I'm here again with another talk times with Pulses. Um, today I invited my friend talk with Tima. That's for Tima. Hi talk guys. With Tima. Hi guys. Guys, let's welcome her. Okay, so um, in today's video, we're just going to be talking about um, getting married to single parents. You know, by single parents, it doesn't matter how many children this person already has, or uh, you know, different ways. There are different ways to be that the person has one child for one person, or two children, three children, four children for one person, or has four for four different men. Bottom line is single parent, not married, but has, you know, as people would like to call it, baggages in form of children. <laughs> so, how does, how, like, what are the things that are involved in getting married to a single parent, especially in Africa, Nigeria, to be precise, since I'm a Nigerian, um, we're just going to be talking about the problems which we experience from the family, from the person you're getting married to, the children, you know, things like that. I really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll just get right to the video. Now. What do you think about this as a single parent? Even though you are not a single parent, you are not in their shoes, you don't know what yes, it feels like. Exactly. But at least but you can I have thought. say something about it. Well, dating a single parent can, can be tasking in that it can't be um, equaled to dating someone who doesn't have children. There would always be um, that attention that would always be divided, right? You want to go on a date with him, you know, or her, and the person says, oh, I'm sorry, I can't, my child has PTA meeting. Like, it, it's, it's, it could be tasking, but then, if you can't do it, I think it's better if you can't do it, don't just get into it at all. But well, if, you know, a lot of people actually think it's a problem, so they tend not to tell their partner from the beginning of the relationship that, oh, I have a kid, or I have kids, because of the fear of what it would say, how it would react, or how its family would react. So they would rather not tell him at all that, oh, I have kids, so it doesn't change how he thinks, how he feels about them. And I think this, this has actually been a problem, because I want to start a in life with you, I want to be committed to you, and you're not telling me you have kids. And probably in the middle of the relationship, you just drop the bomb on me. Them, honey, I'm, I'm sorry, I thought to let you know now that I have. I thought to let you know that now that I have a child, I like, even if you wanted to accept the child from the beginning, but the fact that she's just telling you it's gonna break your heart, how would you react for that if you were the guy? <laughs> thing is, people. The thing is, I feel like a lot of people usually just judge because they are not. They've not been put in the same shoes, so they just expect that. Well, just accept it. Just if you the love the person, yeah, yeah. love, love, love. My dear, love does not solve everything because love does not carry me away from that PTA meeting to come on a date night with you. It's not love that's going to do that one. It's love, God, God that is even carrying him away. It's love for his children that is carrying him away. So, um. How I react is totally based on my feelings at that moment. Why should he lie in the first place? Some people like it's just always better to say. From so if the person is interested, trusted, the person will stay. If the person is not, not interested, they'll, let they'll let you go. know immediately that oh, I'm sorry, I can't do it dating because I have to think about myself. I have to think about you. I have to think about the kids. What if we end up getting serious? That means your kids are now my responsibilities. What if after marriage, I, I don't want to have kids just yet because of the problems that come to raising children. I don't think I can deal. But when someone does that, a lot of the society actually judge, judge people like that, that. Oh, are you trying to say that children are now responsibilities, they are now baggages? What's the problem with raising But the truth system? though, the truth though is that children can be baggages. Yeah, but then you don't have to make it seem like that. Okay, for the mom or the dad, those children are not baggages. Because there is love. I love my children, so definitely they are 
They are like the best things that have ever happened to me. But this person barely knows these children. You can't expect the love to just fly out of nowhere. And the person just says, you know what it means? That means um, if we get married and this child falls sick, sharp, sharp, I have to get up and treat this child like mine. Automatically, I become a father without actually becoming a father. I become a mom without actually becoming a mom. Not everybody can handle that. I, like a lot of people have, we have different, um, should I say, emotional intelligence. Some people can handle this thing well, some while some can't. But then you made another point somewhere and said, um, family. Yeah, they are like the number one obstacle when it comes to single parents dating single guys, like non single parents. You understand? Like they are the number one obstacle, especially the mother in laws. <laughs> they are always against maybe their their son getting married to a single mom. It feels like it's a like a curse or should I call or, or, or like she's a half woman. Like, yes, like she's not complete. She already anymore. has a child though. No 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 no. You not bring another man's child. You you're not raising another man's child. No, not in our family. It cannot happen. Like it's actually common in Africa. In short, this Nigeria it is so common. They see it most women do not allow their sons to get married except the one that for some reason just loves the woman genuinely that is the single mom just like she just loves her genuinely and just doesn't see anything wrong because in her because she has a child so she'll be like okay she will put her hand in the marriage but aside that if the the guy's mom accepts the guy's sisters might not <laughs> woman thinking of that alone the fear would to just put fear in her and be like, no, I don't want to tell this guy just yet. I don't want to tell this guy just yet. So when you can't Until the relationship gets serious and she's like, oh, I really have to tell this guy. There are some people that go as far as until after marriage, they bring the child to their house and claim it is their mother's well, that, that one is another story. But I have one story to tell you guys. I read it once on um, Juro's page where a lady was like, oh, her man accepts her four children who she gave birth. Uh, she four. Had, yes. you say four. Four. One, two, three, four. For four different men. Not even one man. Four. Seriously. So but the man accepts them though. Wow. But she's scared that the mom man. the mom might not accept. And a lot of people were like, no, the mom will never accept. Why the mom would should the mom never accept? accept from four different men. Uh, but the truth of the matter is it's not really in the place of the mom yes it's not in our place but you know as africans that we are the woman that's the yeah. problem this africanism that we are the man already accepts the children the man is the one who's going to live with the children the man is an adult he's not a 13 year old boy or a 14 year old boy he's an adult but you I know mean, as like, they would say parents adults that is the parents they see father than what the children you i'm not saying the, the mother shouldn't voice her opinion if I'm, I'm a woman too my son brings home a woman that has given birth to five four four different children for four different men i don't even have a problem with the woman i have a problem a conversation should be had with my son did you hear the story oh yes mom i heard you know she has four children yes i know do you love her Yes, I do. Are you going to be taking con like taking responsibility, responsibility for the children? I don't know. Yes. Oh, and you are willing. Yes. You know that there might be issues regarding this, right? Yes, I know, but I'm willing to take it. Who are you to like put a stumbling block? Like that's serious, though. The thing is, we we like to the uh, African parents like to like hold their like hold their children like make still want to make decisions for their yeah, children yeah. even when they are older like your child is an adult he knows it's not like this guy did not know he knows what he is getting into do you understand mm -hmm. and then i was seeing where they were saying oh yeah the woman must be fetish and all and that's because well we are already a fetish people so we feel like any say any man that just falls in love with such a woman has to be under some sort of spell it doesn't have to happen like that your, your son makes it, especially if you trust your son. 
you know that your son will not do this kind of thing unless he's absolutely sure that he's making the right decision yeah yeah you need to trust your child even if you are if you are raising hell and doing all that and all you don't trust your child your child is an adult if this woman turns out to be a whore that she seems to be your son has to take responsibility you are you, you as you as a parent have to advise the child. That's all you can do actually. You can just advise each other. I don't think this thing is going to work because for four different men, four different men. How did she do it that she gave birth to four four, four one, different two, men? Three, four. One, two, three, four. And she hasn't been married to any one of these men. And if she has been married four times, why has why is our marriage always breaking? You know, these are questions to ask. But you've discussed it with your son and your son is still willing to go ahead with it. Then you have to step back as a mother. You have to let your son take responsibility. But in the comment section, a lot of people are like, "Oh, can you? If you were the one, can you take it? Can you blah 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 blah?" Actually, that's a valid question. If the woman was the one, she wasn't in, in the man's shoe. Would she have taken the man? If she that's, was the man, if you most like most women take it. Uh uh, and we okay. Two faces. We have an example here. Two faces. You know how many children that one has? Is he? Is he not married right now? Is he not married? It's true, sure. He's married. A lot of women actually. A lot of women take it. Actually, that's very true. A lot of women do not mind getting married or being committed with a man who has had who has kids. Kids from as many women. They actually don't have a problem. But the problem is this: this men actually accepting the single parent. And they, their number one obstacle is their parents. Parents, siblings, they are always against it. Wow, that's very true. The most important factor, the most important person is the husband. If it's the husband and if it's the wife that is accepting the single parent, that's the most important person because it's the person that's going to be living yeah, that live with, with woman. the woman and her children or live with the man and his children. So if you're cool with it, then why is like every other person? It doesn't matter. No other person matters except you. Anyways, guys, what do you think? Would you would you even think of even accepting, or would you trust your son or daughter to know that he or she is making the right decision for him or herself? Right? Will you do you trust your children up to that extent, or would you trust your children up to that extent, or would you try by fire by force to break them up, even though you know that there's really nothing you can do? Would you like? Be hostile to the um, mom, to the single parent, be it a man or a woman. Most women are not, um, most people are not hostile to the men, if it's coming from the men. But, yeah, but, but the women, women, they take a lot, right? I'm not saying that this thing is easy, but like, these people are also human beings. It's just that this person has evidence to show that he or she has been a fool, <laughs> right? Yeah. Just the evidence. A lot of us have been fools. A lot of us. Me, I am, I'm Omojesu. I don't do this shit. You know, like you guys oh, trust man. me. You, you guys actually trust me, don't you? But then there, are, there are things that we all have done in the past. Yeah. That we hope that uh, if you were to go back, you won't do that thing again. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure this same woman or this same man will probably not want to have sex with that person ever because he or she knows that if I have sex with this one, I'm going to child needs traits just like, so what do you think please drop it in the comment section like what are your thoughts i want to hear your thoughts i want to see i want us to talk like drop it in your comment section subscribe hit that notification bell and please don't forget to like this video so that you know my video can just as you have watched it others too can see it and watch it you know the more you like the more others will see it and watch it you know and that's how we will keep growing as a family and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.